Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Replay Super Mario 64. This is part 16, and this is some post-commentary action. Simply because this recording session was a disaster. And live commentary was barely there, and when it was there, it was frustration and sheer stupidity and all that. And it all has to do with, uh, stuff here at uh, Course 12, Tall Tall Mountain. So... This part, I'm gonna be getting, uh, four stars, as well as showing some of my failure. And then in part 17, we're gonna return to, uh, live commentary. Uh... I was kind of, like, cursing and screaming at this game when it really didn't deserve to be cursed and screamed at, because I was apparently being very stupid, as you will see uh, later on, towards the end of this uh, video. But right now, I'm being stupid early on, because I'm not setting the... Uh, camera correctly and it's affecting uh, being able to walk something that thin. Well, I should have just crawled. So I'm going to be making some edits here. I'm not going to make you watch me get back up here. Take like the minute and a half or it would take for me to get back up here. Uh, the first star is just up at the top here. And there we go. See, some progress was made in this video, but not very much. This is probably the shortest recording session I've ever done. Uh, it came in at 22 minutes, seven of which were edited out. Okay, so the monkey cage. This is this is actually where I started uh, getting frustrated. Uh, it was the monkey cage. It's all because of how stupidly program the uh, monkey AI is, and you're gonna see that in a minute or so, uh, as soon as I get up there. Uh, I don't know what it was with this recording session, I don't know what it was with this game, but stuff was just going against me in this session. Uh, I really don't know why things were going the way they were, probably about, like, ten minutes in. So, once again, the, uh, second star is at the, uh, top of the mountain, so... Once again, we're making the trek there. And there's the, uh, monkey cage. Where the star is held. You're probably wondering, how the hell am I supposed to uh, get the star when it's closed off like that? Well, you're going to find out once we get to the top of the mountain, after I carefully go across this thing without falling off and wasting even more recording time. Okay, I'm just going to tell you this right now. This shit is impossible! The AI programming on the monkey is just... It's so touchy, it's just... Ugh! It, it makes getting the star more annoying than it really needs to be. I have no idea what Nintendo was thinking with this shit. So I'm just showing you an example of this. I'm, I'm not gonna make you watch all of this. I am going to skip to uh, when I actually catch the stupid thing about now. But this did take about three minutes. I swear to God, it took way too long. Anyways, once you finally catch him after about five years of trial and error, you have to watch him walk all the way to the place where the monkey cage is. And then he'll jump on top of the monkey cage, making it fall, and breaking the cage. And the star is finally grabbable.
Now, I even have trouble with this because swimming is apparently very difficult in this game, as it is in most 3D games. For any game with swimming in it, swimming just sucks. The physics that happens when you're swimming is just, ugh. As Prometheus MFD once said, it's like space except less free. Scary Shrooms Red Coins. I decide to go for a hundred coins and the red coins in one go here. So... You're gonna see me going for stuff here. Um, in the next part, as, as I have uh, actually recorded the next uh, session, I mentioned that there are three ways to get uh, star number six, Blast to the uh, Lonely Island. I watched a uh, a 70 star speed run and uh, I saw a fourth way to do it that I didn't mention and it was involving that box. Essentially what you would have to do is uh, have it so that on the third hop the box is like right at the edge and then you just go towards the lonely island and you can just get it from there. So I guess that's a speed running technique. Okay, these mushrooms. Fuck these mushrooms. When you grab onto the edge, you automatically fall off. Okay, so let's pretend that didn't happen. Let's actually go for the red coins first this time. I didn't bother uh, going for the coins that I had already gotten until later. Uh, I'm going to be getting uh, two more coins... Here. I'm not going to bother with the other two until I am close to 100 total coins. If I can freaking get up there. Thank you. And six will be right here, and we'll be getting seven and eight uh, shortly. First, we have some other business to take care of to uh, help us out to get to 100 coins. Not the least of which are these three Goombas. Alright, make our usual long jump. And over this way, we have a slide. Probably the hardest slide in the entire game. Just because of this one stupid turn. It's coming up. It's right here. Now, what, actually, what you're going to want to do is when you get to that corner, try to turn to it and then jump. That's, that's actually going to be your best bet. As you're going to see later, I fail to uh, realize this, and stuff happens, and I just plain old give up. Okay, here's something weird that happened during this recording. I was trying to show that uh, pretty much the start was directly below where we are. So I tried to move the camera around, and the camera got stuck! At this point, I pretty much told Lakitu he was fucking fired. Because of his shitty camera work. I can't- I officially can't see a fucking thing. It's like a fucking Sonic game. It's, it's like if Sonic 06 went back in time and invaded this game. That's pretty much what happened. So anyway, we drop down. We're basically going to be getting some more coinage. We're getting pretty close to 100 here. We're about... We're going to be three-quarters of the way there after stomping on these two Goombas. Gonna decide I get... Yeah, gonna decide to get the coins I got earlier. Right, so that takes us to 88. And four of them will come from the remaining red coins. So really we have to figure out how to come up with the other eight. So 
So, if we come around and actually go past that place where the uh, remaining red coins are in those Monzi moles, find an area with some bombs. And have one coin go completely off screen. I didn't think of this uh, while rec while I was recording, but uh, there are five coins on that uh, little bridge over there. Really, I should have just grabbed like a couple of those, but because I'm stupid, I didn't. Because there's five coins in, like, this one place that you're going to see in a minute. After I actually get up there. After I take painstaking measures to get the hell back up there. Frickin'. Yeah, that's the last red coin up there. But I decided to wait on that. And apparently just fall off because it's one of those random camera angles where I have to actually physically have my character turn around. Okay, just grab that coin. And then the last red coin will take me to a hundred. Okay, I actually try to get up to this with just a sideways jump. If you're gonna try and get it from this side, I would wall jump from that back wall there. I didn't think of that when I was recording because I was seriously about to fucking lose it. Okay, so we make two stars appear at the same time. Here we go. So we've got that. Freaking! Ugh. I was trying to get to the star from up top, but I guess that just wasn't happening today. Ah oh well. Two more lives for me. Okay, now I am going to <clears throat> attempt Mysterious Mountain Slide thing bobber. So you all saw where that was, you just have to get up there. You might be asking yourself, why do you just keep showing this same stupid thing over and over? Well, People have to realize that you do have to do kind of the same stuff to get to areas where some of the stars are. It's just part of the nature of this game. Alright, we're pretty close, actually. Just have to make one long jump. There we go. And in the slide we go. Okay. Make the turn here. Okay, this... This turn right here, you're gonna wanna try and actually jump. Not do what I do. Because either you'll over, you'll overshoot it, you'll do it too early, or you'll just not turn there at all, like you're gonna see here. So here's the time where I actually do make it past that point, and somehow just screw it up there. At this point, I pretty much just gave up and said, "Fuck this! I'm doing this another time." So. uh... In part 17, we will return back to live commentary. This has been JBizzo49, signing off. We'll see you in part 17.